Good morning, River Ridge. I'm Zoe Sullivan. And I'm Ethan Fernandez, and this is the KOR broadcast for the week of March 18th. Our news team is looking for stories, achievements, upcoming events, or fundraisers to include in the weekly updates. If you are a club sponsor, coach, teacher, or student, and would like to share information, please email Ms. Pandolfo. We will include the information in the description below. The River Ridge Talent Show is on its way. It will be at the Center of the Arts at River Ridge on April Fool's Day, April 1st. There will be a daytime show for the school and an expanded evening show at 7 p.m. Tickets for the p.m. activity schedule will be on sale soon at GoFan.co. Now here are some highlights from the people of River Ridge. Congratulations to Troop 5031 for a breathtaking performance of I Never Saw Another Butterfly on March 15th at the Tampa Theater. The students of FBLA are hosting a three-on-three -three basketball tournament March 20th through the 21st. Student teams will play against each other for the title of top team, bragging rights, and a trophy to showcase with a personalized plaque. Staff is also welcome to compete. See Mr. Yu in room 4210 to sign up or for more information. Our next pep rally will be held outdoors on April 5th we will be following the traditional morning activity schedule. A friendly reminder, attendance on the day before prom is mandatory. 11th and 12th grade students will be able to take the CLT on campus on April 24th. Students are able to use the CLT for concordance scores, college applications, and bright futures. Students can sign up and pay for the CLT through RICOR. Make sure to register by April 8th. In honor of National Poetry Month, the River Ridge Literary Society is hosting a poetry reading event. Scan the QR code to submit a piece of poetry to read. All pieces must be submitted by April 1st at 2 p.m. The event will be held on April 11th in the River Ridge High School Media Center. This year, River Ridge High School will be hosting a Prom Promise event at our football stadium. This event will take place on April 2nd, 2024 at 10 a.m. This event will only be for seniors and seniors. Prom Promise is an educational reenactment of the dangers of driving under the influence. It is an impactful, real-life scenario with student actors attempting to discourage students from unsafe driving. It will be conducted and executed by the Pasco County Fire Department along with community partners such as Aeromed, Bay Care Trauma Team, Pasco Sheriff's Office, Dobby's Funeral Home, ASAP MAD, and our RHS Theater Program. Now stay tuned for a Prom Promise PSA. No, I'm, I'm I, okay. I'm okay. No, I think we should go home. No, it's... I don't want to be here anymore. Right, I'll grab the keys real quick, okay? Okay. One, one second. In one month, on April 15th, the end of the year Athletic Event Awards will be held. If you are an athlete, make sure to save the date. And now on to Maddox with our sports agenda. Go, 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 go. Hello everyone, I'm Maddox with your weekly sports agenda. Starting off this week, Varsity Baseball will have a game against Cypress Creek at home on Wednesday the 20th at 7 p.m. They will play again on Thursday the 21st, also at 7 p.m. at home. JV Baseball will play on Friday the 22nd at Lando Lakes at 6 p.m. That's all for baseball, now moving on to softball. Varsity softball will play on Tuesday the 19th at Mitchell at 8 p.m. and another game on Thursday the 21st at home against Wesley Chapel again at 7 p.m. JV softball will play Tuesday and Wednesday, Tuesday at Mitchell at 6 p.m. and on Wednesday they will play at home at 6 p.m. against Lacanta. 
That's all we have for softball this week. Now moving on to lacrosse. Lacrosse has a game against Lando Lakes at home at 6 p.m. This is their second to last regular season game, so make sure you come out and support. And to end their regular season, lacrosse has a game on Wednesday at home versus Mitchell at 6 p.m. Come out and support. Boys and girls tennis will have matches against Wiregrass at 3 p.m. The boys will play at home and the girls will play away at Wiregrass. Both girls and boys tennis will have another match on Thursday against Wesley Chapel at 3 p.m. again. The boys will play away this time and the girls will play at home. That's all we have for tennis and lacrosse. Now moving on to track. There will be a meet on Wednesday the 20th at Cypress Creek at 3 p.m. and Thursday the 21st at Anclo at 3 p.m. That's all we have for this week's sports news. Now on to Nick with this week's forecast. Hey, I'm Walla Flesh, and this is Pop Culture. Set to release on June 14th is Inside Out 2, produced by Walt Disney Studios and Pixar Animation Studios. Being the second movie in the series, it is scheduled to release nine years after its first rendition, Inside Out. Being a direct sequel to the first movie, fans are eager to see their favorite personified emotions make a long-awaited return, as well as new emotions come about by main character Riley starting puberty. The 96th Oscars aired on March 12th. Here are some of the highlights. Oppenheimer took away seven awards, including Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, Best Supporting Actor, Best Film Editing, Best Cinematography, and finally Best Original Score. Oppenheimer is the first movie to dominate the Academy Awards since 2003's Lord of the Rings Return of the King. The developer of the Titanfall games, Respawn, is working on a new game in the Titanfall universe. However, it will not be the third installment in the main franchise. This has left many fans of the series upset as they have been asking for a new Titanfall game following the main storyline for years. If you missed any of our QR codes, all links will be provided in the description below. That's all we have for this week's news. Make sure to turn in next time for our next update and have a great week.